What up guys, I'm Chef Tucker and I'm a chef at Truffle Shuffle. And today we're gonna wander around and do what I like to do best, eat a little food. Where? At Marufuku Ramen House. I really wanted to uh, work in Michelin star restaurants. I learned in culinary school that most women don't come, uh, don't get into Michelin star restaurants. It's a boys club and I was like, you know my stubborn self was like, no way, <laughs> that's not gonna happen. So worked super hard, worked my way up into Michelin kitchens. Uh, it took a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, all three, all of the above. Uh, but I finally made it there. Uh, worked in a couple of them, but eventually landed at uh, Acarello. Really awesome experience. One of my favorite positions I've ever had until now. What food it is love means to me is growing up surrounded by food and family. My mom, a great cook. My dad is a great cook and my grandparents were great cooks as well. So uh, I come from a big immigrant Italian family. Food was always at the center focus of family gatherings and holidays, and so that is all very much intertwined for me. And so I love bringing that to my classes because we've all become some sort of big truffle shuffle family. And so I love sharing my food and love with my family. Being in a restaurant, you don't really get to connect with the people. You're in the back of the house versus being in the front of the house, actually interacting with guests. So I actually get to actually see my guests. I get to make recipes with them in mind. So there's a lot of really fun moments in a truffle shuffle class, but one of the best has to be when everybody starts holding up their floofs. I love seeing your floofs. I wish I could bring mine to class, but I can't. So I just have to live and see all those dogs or cats. Sometimes people even hold up turtles, birds. There's been bunny rabbits. So I love when y'all hold up those fluffy things. One of my favorite moments. Hi! Do you want to be in the movie too? Hi! You're famous now. The best life lesson I've learned in my culinary adventures is from Julia Child, actually. And uh, she used to say that you have to have a, a what the hell attitude in the kitchen in regards to culinary. And nothing is more true. So you really just have to like sometimes throw caution to the wind, see what's gonna happen. I don't know. Maybe it's gonna work, maybe it's not. But you're gonna learn something either way. Probably might have fun doing it. It might be super awesome, right? Get a little creative, get a little funky, take a risk. What the hell? 